So this is your online transformation workout program. Very simple, very easy to stick to. It's been designed so you can do it at home, but you can also do it in the gym. You can do it without any equipment, but I would recommend that you get some. Just again, a kettlebell, some dumbbells, just fairly cheap basic stuff. It's designed to keep you motivated because you always have a progression, you always have a goal, you always have something to aim for. Um, and I'm, and very simple to do, very simple to understand. So I'm gonna go through it very quickly. Uh, there is a link to our exercise library, so you can see which exercise to do based on the equipment you have, or if you've got any injuries or anything like that. But very simple this is, so I will be very quickly explain it. You have the exercise that you're doing, reps is the amount of times you do the exercise, if it's a press, which is what I'm doing here, it's not just some kind of dance move. <laughs> reps is the amount of time you do the exercise, Weight is obviously how heavy the thing is you're lifting. Set is how many times you do that amount of reps. And rest is how many times you rest in between each set. So if I was doing a press, I would do a press eight times with a 10 kilo weight. I would then rest for 60 seconds and then I would do that three times in total, okay? And there are three exercises. You have an upper body exercise, you have a lower body exercise, and you have a full body exercise. So you would do that three times with the upper body, same again three times with the lower body, same again three times with the full body, okay? And again, the exercise library, there's a link so you can, you can see which exercises are in each category, it makes it, and a demonstration of how to do them, so you know what you're doing. The way the progressions work, so week one, again, you will pick your upper body exercise, you would do it, again, eight times, 10 kilos, three sets, 60 seconds rest, exactly how I just explained it, okay? Week two, everything stays the same, but instead of only doing it three times, you're now gonna try and do it five times. Same exercises, same weight, same rest, same reps, but instead of doing it eight times with a 60 second rest three times, you're doing it eight times, 60 second rest, five times, okay? So there's a progression. It makes it a little bit harder, but not so hard that you can't do it. Again, again, you would do the same thing with the upper body, the lower body, and the full body exercise. Week three, okay? Now, the reps have gone up. So instead of doing it eight times, you're gonna try and do it 12 times. Still the same weight. The, rep, the sets, sorry, are the same. So five sets, and the rest is the same. So now you're gonna do it 12 times, five times, 60 second rest. Again, same thing with the upper body exercise, the lower body one, and the full body one. And then week four, the reps are the same, the weight again is the same the whole way through, the sets are the same, but now you're only resting for 40 seconds between each set of stuff instead of 60 seconds. So every single week, something gets a little bit more challenging, a little bit harder, tones you up more, burns more calories, easy to stick to, very small progressions, lead to consistent long-term goals, okay? Because week after week two, you do more sets. After week three, you do more reps. After week four, you do, you rest less, okay? Now this is done three times a week. This day one would be your upper, lower, full body exercises. Day two, the exact same thing, just different upper, lower, full body exercises, and same again, day three, same structure, same template, same progressions, you would just do different exercises in those categories, which is why I put together an exercise library so you can see the eight, 10, 12 different exercises you can choose from, um, depending on what you're comfortable with and what equipment you have. Now, week five, so going into the next month, the next progression, you go back to week one, okay? so. Week five, same exercises again on your first workout of that week. You go back down to eight reps, okay? You go back down to three sets and you go back up to a 60 second rest, but the weight goes up. So the weight would go up to, with a dumbbell would go up to 12.5. With a kettlebell, they normally go up in fours. Uh, with a slam ball, they sometimes go up in three, sometimes five. Again, it depends on 
the equipment you have or the equipment your gym has. But you basically go back to line one, but the weight's gone up. And then repeat the exact same thing. This is now line one. And then the next week, you would increase your sets. The next week after that, you increase your reps. The week after that, you decrease your rest. And then the same thing happens. You up the weight and you go back to normal again, okay? So again, you always have something to aim for. It's comfortable, but it still pushes you. And you do that three times a week. As I said, there is a download. Click that, and it has the, the, the spreadsheet with all this out. Again, there's a link to the exercise guide. You can even send me your workouts, and I will just make sure you're doing it all right. In the next video, I will actually show you the uh, full workout session. So you've got a rough idea as long as you're on the right track so you can see what it looks like. Um, but any questions, let me know. I am looking to set up a some kind of folder where you can save your workouts and then I will be able to monitor them, okay? That is not a long-term thing. That is, again, just to make sure that you're getting the most out of this, that you're on the right track. But the best thing to do, if you've got any problems with technique or anything like that, is to, you can video it and send it to me, you can come in. I'd rather you ask than struggle and not get any results. But very, very simple program, simple exercises. Each workout shouldn't take you more than anywhere between 20 and 30 minutes. You can add in a little bit of cardio if you like. We have an incline trainer, very steep treadmill that we use sometimes. You could do a bike ride. We have an assault bike. Um, you could do a couple of other extra stuff. You could do a little ab round. Matt tends to put those in. But this is the core stuff. If you did this, you would see fantastic progression, fantastic results, providing you've applied all the food stuff we went through yesterday. Um, and then any cardio, any ab work is extra if you've got time, if you've got the energy, if you feel like it. But this is how it works. Again, Click the spreadsheet, download this, you'll have access to how all this works, and it's all laid out for you. Go through the exercise library, pick which three upper body exercises you want, which three lower body, and which three full body you want, um, and then get going. No reason you can't start now. Again, join, uh, post in the Facebook group if you've got any questions. If you need me to critique anything, then let me know. But this is now the time, okay? Last two days, just been watching videos. We've set out a plan, we've gone through the food, you should know exactly what you need to hit your goals. You should know why you want to lose weight. You should know where you've been going wrong with your food. You should have my fitness pal set up. You should have it all in practice now because there's no point starting this if all that is crap. But now you have everything laid out. If you don't, go back and do it. This is now the time to get off the backside and start doing some exercise. Again, any questions, post them in the group. Uh, go through the exercise library. Um, tomorrow, again, is more kind of long-term lifestyle stuff, so this isn't just a fad. I don't want people to download my fitness pal, do this for a month, and then stop. This should be long-term, long-term life-changing changes is what we're going for. Any questions, post them in the group.